à tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité. Top à l'image vulgaire. Confirmé. Top à l'image EAP, décollage. Beautiful. There, Ariane off on her way with just a 24-hour delay, leaving a trail of gold as she rises into the sky over uh, French Guiana at 18:51 local time and right on time. Ariane began her mission. And right on time. So we had a, a mass at liftoff of 773 tons, including 554 tons for the sole boosters. The boosters, which give a very strong initial acceleration that will increase velocity from 0 to 7,200 km per hour in about 2.3 minutes. That's 4,500 miles per hour. So after booster separation, which will occur in about two minutes, uh, the launcher will have lost about 75% of its liftoff mass. The boosters will fall down into the Atlantic Ocean in a zone which has been secured by an international advice to uh, maritime navigation. Ariane burning now five tons of fuel per second. That's two and a half tons in each booster per second. The EPC, also the core stage, as it's called, is burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. All that adds up to roughly the equivalent of a dozen Airbuses. She's now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon see. Four powered flight phases tonight. We're in the first one, the main engine and the boosters, and the boosters, as Alex said, they're going to burn for another maybe 20 seconds. Alex, take a look on the left, the upper left screen. Can you give us a description of the curve, please? Yeah, we, s we see the uh, simulated flight trajectory, which is computed by using very accurate mathematical models of the launcher and the ATV, and by application, of course, of the Keplerian laws for the ballistic phase. Which we're going to hear about a little later. A little later. All three of them. So the mark which follows... Des EAP, en ah. en DDO has just called out the separation of the boosters. You can see what that looks like. There's another one out of camera range on the left, but they fall back down right on time at about uh, 64 kilometers up, I think. They fall away from the shore. People streaming back in uh, from the terraces, you can see in the background there. Yes, now to follow the, the actual flight. And now we're expecting the uh, fairing separation. That's the next milestone. Minutes. You can see the cursor crawling up on the upper left. I don't, don't know if you can read it. Sep coif, it says separation of the fairing. On the lower left, Alex, can you uh, describe what the, what the bottom lines are? Yes, we have the real-time information from the launcher of the uh, velocity and the altitude, and also the uh, uh, angle of the uh, telemetry antenna with respect to horizontal. So you see the altitude, uh, the, the altitude is 102 kilometers, that's the second line, so we're above the atmosphere, which is where we can separate the fairing, and the uh, DDO will call out that milestone in a moment. We are in the second. Largage de la coiffe. There it is. Largage there de la There it is. So we, uh, don't, we don't need the, uh, the protection of the fairing uh, anymore. We have Cross the atmospheric layers, and then uh, now we don't need this uh, two tons weight anymore. 